Hey, Shalom, Shalom, brothers. Brother Kamal Bahar here, back at it again. First thing first, we'll give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakakudash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of the truth from GMS. Blessing to the Akim there preaching his word with heart to sincerity. Blessing to 144,000, one third entirely, the first priest kingdom of heaven. I said, David, the Biaf, that would die. Shalom to you, brothers out there speaking different tongues. Different tongues and looking at different nations. Shout out to you guys. So today, I wanted to uh, get into, uh, like I said, brothers, uh, my videos are always more based on comfort. Um, I do go into prophecy. Um, you know, I'm all for it. Uh, you know, you know Jacob's trouble and everything like that, which will happen in the near future. Um, uh, but these times that we're coming in, you know, I like to get into the uh, the comfort and, um, you know, the glory, the glory of the, of the scriptures, because, you know, why not, you know, get ourselves in, in that conversation in the first place? Um, I know a lot of brothers are, are in the, you know, some brothers is in, the, is, different, is in the chariots, crazy, spiritual power, crazy, which is one of my favorite. Um, but um, I'm a comfort brother to uplift the brothers. And in these low times that we're in right now, sometimes, sometimes, you know, like, like, like we know we're subject to payments, got bills coming in, some brothers is backed up, some brothers, is, you know, it's always... Um, some BS dealing with es Esau's kingdom, um, but but at the same time though, even though you know other brothers got what baby mama drama, maybe child support, it could be all types of legal issues. Who knows? Uh, but but you know the afflictions on this side are real, and we don't have to endure um, and, and endure this thing because you know you know Yahweh Shem is going to look out for his brothers for his bed in these latter times. So. You know, like it says when, when um, like it says in Isaiah sixty six, I believe, or sixty five. Um, I don't really got to get to it. It says that when well, my service out, my service out eat, but uh, but uh, but you shall be hungry. My service out drink, and you shall be thirsty. Right. So roughly paraphrasing. So we so we know in the in these crazy times, miracles and wonders are going to happen again. But on this side, we won't have to deal with Esau's fuckery and deal with Esau's you know subject you know subject to payments. Um, you know, unregistered decrees and their evil system they have set up um, before, you know, Yahweh Shem HaShah bring them down. But this is all what you would call conditions of the battle. And we, we know that rightfully. So, you know, our job is just to just continue to pray, do the work, and I let the Lord take care of everything else. Um, but at the same time, though, you know, when you get into, uh, man, if I, I can start at um, 2 Corinthians 4. It says, uh, go to starting at 16 through 18. It says, for which cause we faint not, but though our outward man perish, yet the inward man renewed, uh, is renewed day by day. It says, for our flick, for our light affliction. Now, listen to that very carefully because, you know, on, on this side, the affliction that we're actually going through on our day-to-day -day basis may seem a little hard body, you know, seem a lot. Sometimes, like even me, I'm a great testament that you know, um, to the to the point where situations look dire, and I'm like, I don't know how I'm gonna get out this. Like, it's no way. I'm not gonna say it's no way, but in in the fleshly mind, sometimes you feel like, damn, I'm done. It's like, it's I don't know how I'm gonna get out this. So you pray to the Lord, and then spookily, if that's a word, um, uh, shoot, you get delivered in a miraculous way. I mean, I'm a I have a testimony. Many testimonies of being delivered in ways where I'm like, damn, like, okay, like that was the Lord. Like it was no way it was going to go down that go down like that. And the and the type of coincidence is that be happening is like, damn, you call law Yahab Bashim al Shah. But sometimes these situations seem um seem heavy, but the Lord specifically got it as our light affliction. And and this is why, which is but for a moment. Cause right, the, the scripture that says that we're gonna the, the the things that we're living in and we're experiencing are gonna be like a cast away so so fast it's gonna be like as a bad memory or a bad dream type roughly paraphrasing. It says for our light affliction, which is but for a moment. Now that's a really good word light because that's literally the the the, the experiences that we're experiencing on a you know on a negative side that we that we're considering to be negative. Brothers need money, and there's a lot of issues going on with brothers sometimes. So the things that we're 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 dealing with seem a little heavy, but the Lord specifically dumbed our particular situations down by calling them light afflictions. So it's very interesting how we feel the way we feel, 
But the Lord is very confident in the fact that what's coming for us, brothers, Lord willing to be a part of that number, is that it's going to be considered light, especially when we experience what's happening. We're going to be like, damn, that was a that was real light. What we was going through it really wasn't that bad. That's how the Lord playing the game right now. So it says, for our light affliction, which is but for a, a moment, working for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. So whatever the Lord has for us in the, in the, in the near future um, is, 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 is going to out exceed the negative so bad that we're going to be feeling like shit by feeling like we was going through some problems. Basically, if you want to put that in some type of lameness terms, it's going to be that it's going to be that great to the point where, damn, I think we was bitching, brothers. We 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 was really thinking it was bad and it really wasn't that bad for real. That's how the Lord got it. It says it says while we look not at the things which are seen. Right. But at the things which are not seen for the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Now, that right there. Is what brothers should be focusing their minds on of that particular concept right there. Because it's locking. When you have faith in Yahweh Shinel Shah and you was blessed with that faith and to believe the scriptures, then it'll be a whole lot easier to hone on these particular scriptures here, 17 and 18. Because it takes faith to wholeheartedly believe in something that you have never seen before. And we do. And and the crazy part about it is our faith is so actionized. That like we're actually like like little kids looking forward to this Sesame Place or Dorney Park like when we was kids. We're, we're counting down the days of when we got to go. I mean, that's how excited we are about the kingdom of heaven and the belief, which is also given to us by faith and also uh, a, uh, a comfort for us to have something to look forward to. That's going to weigh outweigh the, the light afflictions that we're dealing with right now. Thus saith the Lord. Right. First Corinthians. Um, you know what? Let me just go to it from here. First Corinthians two and nine. And I know another one, Isaiah. First Corinthians two and nine, but as it is written, I have not seen nor ear heard, neither have neither have entered into the heart of man the things which the most high have prepared for them that love him. You see that? So now, like I all I brought the scripture up before. Um this is literally like science answering, it's like the Lord answering science's question and showing you how the brain works. It is a fact, like I said before, that if you have never seen anything, object, any object or substance, I just say that, any object or entity, whatever, and never even heard about it ever at all before too. That means it's impossible for your brain to, to muster up an idea of what you so-called never seen or heard. Your brain doesn't have the capacity to create like that. It doesn't. It has to have an idea and plan it into it first. And then that idea can grow into many other things. But the seed of it was the idea. If you don't know what the idea is, your brain can't muster up what it is that you that, 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 that it is you're supposed to be um, thinking about. Like if you've never seen a car before, I'm not gonna get into too many examples. But if you've never seen a car before, you never you never heard the engine run, you never heard the horn blow, you never heard the the the, the, the rotation and the skirt of the tires to the to the to the ground, you you never heard a horsepower steering, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, car seats, etc. Gasoline, etc. Right? If you never heard of those things, and somebody go tell you is yo go get the car. You're going to be sitting there stuck like, I don't even know what you're talking about. The brain is not going to even know where to begin to understand what a car is because it never seen or heard about it. And the Lord is, is, is putting this in scripture, stating that fact, right? But also is, is also more comforting and more like a tease in a way because it's like, damn, the kingdom of heaven going to be like that. I mean, it's going to be so crazy that there's things we never even seen or heard about. I mean, think about it. Like a chariot is a, is like a, a chariot is a vehicle. So we know what those are. We've seen them before, too. So the concept of a chariot is like a vehicle. Well, we know what a vehicle is, is transportation from one place to another. It could be in a go kart. It could be in a in a in a in a, in a, in a motorcycle, a, a, a regular car, a van, a Jeep, a truck, a tank. Those are all concepts of vehicles. So we know what that is. So that's easy to muster up different ideas. That's why there's different vehicles and different transportations, trains, etc., boats. The idea is planet. So we know what to think about when you got vehicle. 
The Lord is saying that the eye have not seen, ear never heard. Okay, now, now, what is it that we, now, what is out there that is, is, is to that degree, which is also, which is also comfort and excitement to brothers because we about to be stunting something crazy. We about to be involved in a, in a potential, not, but yeah, potential because we hopeful elect, potential um, status and wealth and level of all type of beings and powers and dwelling, however you want to put it. Is so crazy that nobody's even seen or heard about how it's going to be, when it's going to be, and I guess the best is just how it's going to be. So we just sitting there like we like biting our nails. We like damn, like yo. So all you can do is keep continuing the work, and then you can keep on going because it does says seek ye the kingdom first, and all these things shall be added unto you, right? So that there, there you go with that one, and so it's just. It's just one of them things where it's just like, damn, you know what I mean? And that's comfort because we know that these particular, like it says in Romans 9, 9 and 4, it says, who are is a, is a, uh, who, uh, uh, who are Israelites, which pertain to, and what's one of the key pertain of things to the Israelites that's pertaining to them? The glory and the kingdom of heaven and the promises, right? Those promises and glory. Promises and glory is all these comfort things that 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 the Lord is saying that eyes never seen, ears never heard, but they are, they, but they do pertain to us as a, in a future prophecy. Because remember, remember, Yahweh Bashim Yahushua says, um, "It is my good pleasure to give you the kingdom." So that the Lord is pleasured by giving us the kingdom. He knows our brains. He knows how we move. He already know we're about to be jaw dropped on what on what it is the Lord got prepared. He know that, and that's a banging that's a banging situation. Imagine if you got a woman, and you give her a gift that she probably always wanted, and but then never expected to get the gift in general, like a new Benz or something. She's gonna go outside and see that Benz and be sitting there jaw dropped, like wow. She's gonna be so stunned and so wild that the gift that she got is gonna blow her away and might mess her and cry. So just imagine how the kingdom of heaven going to be for us brothers for doing the work and enduring all the way to the end. The Lord going to set it up so crazy. It's going to be like, damn, like, wow, like, OK, like, damn, we do. We deserved all of this. Like we got all of this. You know what I mean? Uh, Isaiah. And Isaiah 64 and four is where I'm going. It's pretty much the same. I like it's a little bit more in detail, but it's the same. But I like how it, how it flow. It says, for since the beginning of the world, men have not heard nor perceived by ear, neither have the eyes seen, O Yahweh, beside thee what he had prepared for them that waited for him. So now it says it more in like straight up at you that no man has ever seen or heard the things that the Lord got prepared. So the Lord set up a brand new, I mean, he's setting up new technology. He's setting up new lands, new concepts of building. You already know in Revelation 21, I could get into it, where it's, it's really telling you how the kingdom going to be built up with sapphires and rubies and precious stones and gold and all kinds of crazy stuff. That type of a lifestyle and that type of a dwelling has never been seen before. Unless you living in, unless you in a comic book with, on Thor's kingdom or some old crazy shit like that or whatever. But other than that, we ain't never, we, we don't know what type of living is that, man. That's just utter, utter wealth, utter stunting, just utter, just insane, crazy stuff. All gold, everything, just man, just listen. We're going to be like Solomon times 50,000. Like Solomon's kingdom was crazy. We Our John going going to kill that out the water and then you think about it it makes sense because you know solomon was your house shot too through the spirit so that makes sense you know what i mean but damn see how the lord coming the lord coming like yo this is the book of psalms uh 16 and 11 it says it says for thou would not leave my soul in hell i'm sorry 10 for thou will not leave my soul in hell, neither would thou suffer thy holy one to see corruption. Thou will show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. And at thy right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. So there's no end to pleasures, bro. It's just going to be utter new shit. Just utter, just magnificence. Just like ain't nothing going to surprise you. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. No, this, the, the kingdom of heaven is going to surprise you at every turn. Like you're going to, it's never going to get old on how wonderful the kingdom of heaven is going to be. Every day is going to be like, damn. And then you, and then you, and then what you would think by three months of the three months of the kingdom of heaven itself, you can be like, all right, I've been here. It's where I live now. I'm used to. No, you're never going to get used to the kingdom of heaven. It's going to always be dope every day, and every day is going to be fire. Every day, just going to be just like, damn, like every day going to be popping. Utter, utter and eternal rest. When you think about it, man, it's the ultimate, most biggest tease ever. And I mean a tease in a good way. It's just like, damn, like we just can't wait. Something, yo, because things get old over here. You know, you got a new song that's popping for a little while. And then after a while, it's just corny. Now you're up, you're looking forward to the newest thing coming up. Maybe from the same artist or maybe something new and refreshing. The kingdom of heaven ain't going to be like that. It's going to just be just super dope all day, every day, just all day, every day. Just damn, just awesomeness, just continuously awesomeness. So it's like, damn, and it's going to be so crazy that it's going to knock, it's going to knock out our light afflictions of what we're dealing with right now. It's the point of this whole video. If you can hold on to that, that'll put a perspective in the situation. You know what I mean? So let me go to... um. Um. Oh, Isaiah sixty and fifteen is one of, is another one of my favorites, because because Isaiah sixty is big boy. I mean, a whole chapter. I, I did a video on the entire Isaiah sixty, but fifteen, I believe. Four, let me see. Let me see. Uh, it's all right. So I'm gonna go to. Um, I'm gonna start at yeah. See this. See this is Isaiah sixty. All right. Let me go to. Um, 14 through six, ah, 14 through 17. Okay, cool. The sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee. That's going to be a beautiful situation in the kingdom because we're, we're, we're the lowest of the totem pole. We're disrespected. We're, we're counted out for everything. But now the ones that afflicted us are going to be bending the knee to us. So the same people who, who can't, who can't, who can't stand us and despise us are the same people going to be bending the knee to us. Like, yeah, my Lord. Right. And, and all they that despise thee, there we go, shall bow themselves down at thy soles of thy feet and they shall call thee the city of the Lord, the Zion, the Holy One of Israel. Right. Beautiful. Where, where, whereas thou has been forsaken and hated so that no man went through thee, I will make thee an eternal excellency, a joy of many generations. That that aligns very perfectly when you think about it to Isaiah 64 and 4. Or 1 Corinthians 2 and 9. Eyes never seen, ears never heard. The glory that we're going to be into, Lord will not be a part of that number, and you brothers are sincere. The glory that we're going to be into, the bodies and the, the dwelling and the palaces and the streets of gold and the spiritual power, being being walking with you, shy, like the glory and the excellency is just going to be like, yo, a joy for many generations. The Lord going to turn this up. You if you if you if you think these Dubai dudes and these billionaires are stunting with their fancy cars and what they so-called got with their cribs, which is tend to be impressive on this side. You got another thing coming on what we're going to be dealing, dealing with. It says 16, thou shalt also suck the milk of the Gentiles and shalt suck the breast of kings. And thou shalt know that I, Yahweh, am and thy, and thy savior and thy redeemer, the mighty one of Jacob. Right. Damn. We're going to be taking everything. It says, for brass, I will bring gold. Uh, and for iron, I will bring silver. And for wood, brass, and stones, iron. And I will also make thy officers peace and thy exactors righteousness. <laughs> hey, man. We going, it's going to be all right, man. It's going to be all right. That's the whole point of my video. It's going to be all right, brothers. It is, man. And all you got to do is just believe that. Whatever it is you're dealing with, because I got my own fuckery that I'm dealing with myself, but hey, it is what it is. We got to keep holding strong, trusting the Lord, Yahab Bashim Yahab Shah, and um, keep it, keep it rocking, man. Keep doing the work. We almost out of here. You can obviously see the prophecies jumping. So this is just a matter of time before our next big thing happen and get this ball rolling so we can get up out of here to enjoy this right here that eyes never seen and ears never heard. Call Allah, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. We give all praise again to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Uh, um, Yahweh Kakwa Dash, Holy Spirit. 
Yahweh, he is to be exists by Hashem in the name and the Holy and the, the only begotten Son and Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah by Hashem in the name, and the Holy Spirit of Kak with Dash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the Lord and Truth from GMS. Blessing to the Akimon Dare preaching his word. Waho our true sincerity. Blessing to the 144,000, one third entirely, the first fruits kingdom of heaven. Hasid David, W Yaf Dawada, and Shalom Ali brothers out there speaking different tongues and looking different nations. Shalom.